Hi everybody, it's Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about another great building. Uh, this happens to be a high middle age building. So I'm moving up into HMA, and this is uh, St. Mark's Basilica. So it's a St. Mark. Um, let's see, what can we talk about on this? It's a big building. It's a 6x6, six six, I believe. Um, let's see, it's going to pay some coin, coin boost, and, I'm sorry, coin boost, and some goods. And, but it comes at a cost. There's a lot of real estate underneath that building. So uh, let's let's get into it. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool looking. Um, I do happen to have it built in my industrial age city, which has all the great buildings. Uh, I must have had some spare real estate at the time, because normally I would have waited and placed this later. But uh, it is what it is. So let's take a look at the stats. Construction cost. It's going to cost us 80 brick, 120 rope. Uh, 190 salt, uh, 160 dried herbs, and 200 glass. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a 6x6 six six footprint, which is pretty substantial. Um, especially at, by that age, uh, high middle ages, everything's taken up a lot of room. So to, to commit 6x6 six six on this building with some coin boost, I'm probably still running coin production at that point. That that makes a big difference because you're talking about a hundred percent coin boost when you get to level one. Um, yeah, so that's probably why I placed it. I'm going to guess, I don't remember anymore, but, uh, either way. And then 10 goods, maybe, I, maybe I was hungry for goods at the time too, but when you look at this, it's, it increments up pretty quickly in the goods. So, but I've only taken this to a level five, so I don't remember my story on this, on my own building, <laughs> my own building. Um, I know that I'm basically only running this on my 5FP swap thread. This is kind of like my filler that I'll just basically like when coins in the jar, I'll put that in that thread and let fives come in on it. And then that's why it's leveling so slow. Uh, Cause anything that's any substantial is I'm looking at other strategies on my great buildings, um, FP swaps. So um, let's see. I don't know if there's much more to say. I mean, it's, it's a big building. If you're doing some coin production, it can pay pretty decent, 250%, 255% at level 10, or 250% at level 10 with uh, 25 goods, but it comes at a cost. So, uh, yeah, nothing really to write home about on this one. I think this is one of those buildings that I probably, because you have a tendency to acquire a lot of the blueprints for these, so you have a lot of backups. I think I may have actually gone and deleted these in some of my worlds in the past with the intent of rebuilding it later if I wanted it, um, instead of, because I, I needed the real estate underneath it. Um, the next building I'm going to talk about is exactly, that's exactly the case there. But when I want to be a GB collector and I want to have a full set of great buildings in the game, um, I will eventually uh, have them, so... Uh, let's see. <laughs> this one's probably going to be super short. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Again, this is my comments or my suggestion or my thoughts and my takes on the game. So whatever. Have a great day. Bye.